Hey everyone, it's Zach, and in this episode of Hope for Master Ball, we have made some changes to the Copperaja team, and we're going to try to hopefully do better. Now, let's go over the team real quick. So, we replaced U-Turn for Taunt, because I needed a Taunter on this team. Uh, Roly now has the Focus Dash instead of Evil Light. Inteleon, I was going to replace Ice Beam for Blizzard. Copperaja hasn't changed at all. And I wanted to make this team better, so I did what any team builder does when they want to make their team better. I saw that there wasn't a Togekiss, and I added a Togekiss. This Togekiss carries Yawn, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, and Life Dew. Uh, kind of to replace the Comfey's healing, but I really haven't gotten a chance to click Life Dew yet, so I might change that for Air Slash, depending on the usage. Uh, and Senor has been re EV'd to lose out on all its attack and get more bulk. And we also gave it the Eye of Papa Berry instead of Safety Goggles. We moved the Safety Goggles onto Togekiss and we gave it Burning Jealousy, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Snarl. And that's how the team's changed so far. So let's see if this will help us at all get a win. And just a heads up, at the time of watching this, I will actually be on vacation. Most of my videos were pre-recorded and just thrown in, in bulk, which is why I only made changes to the Copperaja team. Uh, but vacation is going to be fun, so I'm going to try to pre-record as much as possible. You might get one or two videos after this, but that's that. Anyways, we're going to look for our first opponent. Okay, and we have our first opponent, Peachy. I feel like we can lead in Senor Togekiss with Copperaja in third. I want to bring Gastrodon, but I feel like Gastrodon's going to be too much. Let's bring in Rillaboom, third, because uh, there's a Gastron on the other side. I've been coming across a lot of Dragalgies, but from the looks of it, you usually need Trick Room to use it well, and I don't see any Trick Room on my opponent's team, so there's that. So I think right here, I just want to fake out. And do I want to gleam for damage or do I want to yawn? That Dragology probably has a weakness policy, so I don't want to activate it yet. And we're going to see a Dynamax, so I wonder who it is. It will be the Dragalgy, so the Yawn was a good play. The Fake Out wasn't, though. We'll probably see a Follow Me from the Togekiss. And actually, it's going to be a Helping Hand. We'll see a max ooze probably into the Togekiss slot. So if this Dragology carries Thunderbolt, it has to use it. So I think here I want to Snarl. 
and just get an Iron Head into the Togekiss. And we're going to see the Togekiss go back, actually. And Sin. So, good switch out. So the thing is, looking at this team right now, did you bring Gastrodon? We'll get a drop on Dragalgy. And the Max Lightning. We get some chip on Insignior, but it's nothing too good. Oh, if you go back into Togekiss. You do. I'm the worst at that, like, Max Quake calls. So now Copperage is minus two. But we have one more turn of Dynamax. Their Dynamax is over. So I think here I want to fake out into the Togekiss slot and Max Quake into the Dragalgy. This is not going to do anything because we are minus two, about to be in minus three. This is one of the problems of having a slower team is that rotating and intimidate is really easy. That does nothing, and it probably activates a weakness policy. So this is one of the problems with not bringing Roli next to Copper Raja, is that once it gets Intimidate or anything, it starts to, its effectiveness really goes down. And now I'm protecting the parting shot again. Nope, fake out. What am I doing? See the Jujuraji's life orb. Did not notice that before.
Oh my goodness. Is like Why why is the play so predictable? It's not like this is like an average team. Okay, and there's the match. <sighs> One thing I really have to keep in mind is that Kaparaja is so slow, and I have to be very predictive of my switches, especially with a Pokemon like Insignior, which switches in to what I want to do to Togekiss very well, and vice versa. High horsepower and, and iron head. So we're gonna go ahead and look for the next one. The next loss. Maybe I should try a trick room setup. Our next battle is gonna be against N. And this can be a tough team. I feel like. Paparaja and Senor does good here. I need Rillaboom for the Gastrodon. Because otherwise I have no Gastron answers. I think Inteleon's good in the back. It can hit Corviknight on the special side. Deal with Tyranitar. Do good damage against Dragalge. Even though most Dragalges carry Thunderbolt, so I will have to keep that in mind. And it ignores redirection, so if I'm using Snipe Shot, I don't have to worry about Gastron being on the field. I could see Trick Room being a possibility here. Gorgeist and Corviknight. So unfortunately we do get the Intimidate bounce back to Insignior, but Insignior is more of a special attacker. Honestly, I think a double into Corviknight is actually not a bad idea because I feel like this Corviknight is going to bulk up and the Gorgeist is going to Trick Room. So maybe a Burning Jealousy. And if you set up Trick Room, Corviknight's in trouble. bulk up so we're gonna get the burn off with burning jealousy and we see that it's Akaberry okay so that's really good I can't let them land a Will-O-Wisp. Body press. We take that. They got a berry for everything.
you do land the will o -Wisp. okay and we're still able to take out the corviknight so there's a big problem out of the way Tyranitar. So here I want to max Steel Surge. None to the Tyranitar yet, especially the Copper Rage is burned. And I just want to Parting Shot out into the Tyranitar. And we're actually going to see the Tyranitar Dynamax. Okay, so... Getting the drops on Tyranitar are actually really good. Here we're going to bring in Rillaboom. Seed Bomb, so you prop the weakness policy. Rillaboom is going to take the Max Quake a lot better. Okay, so we get spikes up. And I just want to get another Intimidate in. I am worried about them burning the Rillaboom. I feel like bringing down Rillaboom's damage output here would be really bad. Did we get any boost at all? Probably not. So I'm going to switch into Incineroar. And I actually want to glide the Tyranitar. So this Tyranitar is back down to neutral. And we'll see a max steel spike. Okay, so you're trying to get some defensive boost. I'm going to switch back into Kaparaja here. And 
And we're just gonna keep parting shotting the Tyranitar. I want to say we're going to have to lose our Rillaboom here, unfortunately. Yeah. And we actually see Trick Room. So we're going to go ahead and bring back Incineroar. And this Tyranitar is minus two. So I want to say you're the one that switches out, and you really... F Oh, it's not enough. Rock slide's gonna. So, who do you have in the back? If it's Gastron, we're in trouble. Dragalgy. Okay. So I just want to get as much damage into the Dragology as possible. That that does pretty good for being burned. We see that his life orb. Sandstorm's over. So the thing is, how many more turns of Trick Room do they have? Two more turns of Trick Room. Uh.
Oh. Do we go for the double? I think we have to. I think it's our best play. Dragology's gonna protect. And we get the double. So the thing is, do we survive a hit from Tyranitar? An air slash should do it. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, we got the flinch. Oh, you're going to protect Dragalgy. Budge. No, you're not. So, do we live another lash out? Okay, it's all on this. Yes. Okay, critical hit. We needed that because that Tyranitar was defensively boosted. Okay, so we picked up a game today can't complain about that but anyways let me know how you feel about the changes on the team if you made it this far in the video i want to say thanks for watching the best way you could support is to like and subscribe like i said before i'll be on vacation so i'm going to try to pre-record as much as possible but you might see videos slow down this week but anyways i'm zach and i'll see you guys in the next one